This video describes a new calculation added to the attribute capability analysis procedures in Stack Graphics 19. It's called a conformance analysis. The data used in a conformance analysis consists of M samples, each containing N sub I items. We also know the number of defective items in each sample. The goal of the analysis is to determine how well the process that generated those samples conforms to a specification. The specification is expressed as the maximum number of non-conforming items in a package. As an example, let's suppose a product is shipped in packages, each containing 100 items. Packages are acceptable if there are no more than one item in the package that's defective. The goal is to have at least 99.73% acceptable packages. To express how well we're doing with respect to that requirement, we'll define a capability index called CPC. CPC equals 1 minus the target percentage of acceptable packages divided by 1 minus p hat, where p hat is the estimated probability that a package contains no more than u defective items. If we're meeting our target, CPC will be greater or equal to 1. I've loaded into the Stack Graphics data sheet 100 samples, each containing 5,000 items. What you see in the column called defects is the number of defects in each of those samples. To analyze this data, I'll go to the top menu to SPC, Capability Analysis, Attributes, Percent Defective. The data I want to analyze are in the column called defects, and I'll indicate to it that each sample contains 5,000 items. I can choose either the binomial or hypergeometric distribution. Usually, I'll start with the binomial and see if that works. As far as tables and graphs are concerned, I'm going to pick the analysis summary goodness of fit tests, performance analysis, and a capability plot. The capability plot shows a histogram of the data, which contain anywhere between 1 and 11 defects, samples of 5,000 items. And you can also see the fitted binomial distribution. Before I calculate any statistics, I want to check the goodness of fit of that binomial distribution. You can see over here on the left-hand side that Stack Graphics has performed a chi-square goodness of fit test that compares the observed number of samples in each of the classes with the expected frequencies. If the p-value is greater than 0.05, then the distribution fits acceptably at the 5% significance level. A p-value of 0.17 is a pretty good result. No reason to think that the binomial distribution is not appropriate for this data. Now let's go ahead and do the conformance analysis. To do that, I'll go to the bottom left. And first, press the right mouse button and select Paint Options. I need to tell it three things for it to be able to compute the statistic I'm interested in. First off, I need to tell it package size. How many items are in a package? And we had specified 100. It also wants to know the maximum allowable non-conforming items in the package and we said one. Finally, it wants to know the target conformance percentage. It's 99.73%.
And I press OK, and then compute the statistics I'm interested in. The numbers of interest on this screen are the probability of conformance, that is, having a package with no more than one defective item, and CPC. The estimated probability of conformance is about 99.54%. With 95% confidence, somewhere between 99.45 and 99.61. Unfortunately, I'd ho been hoping for 99.73%, not doing quite as well as I was hoping. Because I'm under the target conformance, CPC is less than 1. In fact, it's about 0.582. If you read the Stat Advisor, you'll notice one more interesting thing about CPC. It says in the last line here that the capability index CPC indicates that the probability of obtaining a non-conforming package is 1.7178 times that allowed. It turns out that that's the reciprocal of CPC.